There goes my mom. I'm gonna read it. Folks, welcome back to my channel. This is Hadley Sermina, the Vagabond Traveler. So today we're going to Barakay Island. So we have just arrived to Stagbeck Sewers Terminal and it's just 5.30 in the morning. Since it's holiday, we have to queue in this really, really long line. I'll keep... It's been an hour and we're still queuing, waiting for this. So there's still a lot of people queuing behind us since there's a lot of people going back home to the province. So this time I'm traveling with my family and we'll be staying there for like three days and four nights. Finally, after almost three hours, we can now get into the this bus. So from Iloilo City, it's gonna take about seven to eight hours before we arrive at Barakay Island. So excited, guys! I can already see the beach. Yay! So we have finally arrived at Katipuan Jetty Port. Oh my gosh, the crowd is insane today because almost everyone is going for a vacation since it's long holiday. So we asked some assistance from the agency. So it will be a lot easier for us. So all you need to do is just pay and they already arrange everything for us, like the boat that we're going to ride and also the car or whatever it is, the transportation going to our hotel. Guys, it was so busy out there. Finally arrived at Malai Port. And guys, look, there's still a lot of queue. Yay! Yeah, so we're gonna ride this electric bike going to our hotel. I'm so exhausted, but I'm also excited. So we finally arrived after eight hours. So we're currently at the front beach and my sister just finished taking photos. <laughs> Let's go girls! And they're still taking photos here. <laughs> there goes my mom! Oh my goodness! What are you doing in there? There's just so many people around today guys since it's holiday. So we're going to swim now, guys! We're so ready. Even though it's low tide, the water is so beautiful. Huh?
So there's a lot of gusk out here. They are selling some souvenirs and clothes. So now guys, we're still walking. We don't really know where to eat. We're still trying to find a really good restaurant. to check, check out this restaurant it looks cute they have Filipino foods and different dishes so we're done with the dinner and I'm so cool How do you feel, bro? How do you feel about eating Hello Mango? <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna get the biggest one, the family size, and we're gonna get there. I used to have it before, but just as well, it was like more than five years ago. Seems like we're gonna dance tango. Guys, it's super duper big. What are you doing? How was the taste? Guys, it looks super good.
guys, so we're gonna eat lunch first. So guys, we're just waiting for our sisters and others. And we're gonna have lunch first. And maybe we're going to the back page or the level. So we're walking down the station too. Just had our lunch and now we're walking and going to the level. We're passing by the mall which can see a lot of clothings and bags and local products. So you can, as you can see, this is already the main road, and we're gonna cross. Guys, we're outside. Stop here. And what do they have in here? They have an artificial island right over there. There's a lot of people taking photos in this big Baraka signage and then we waited for a while before we can also take a photo in there. That's sweet. It's a boss. It's so creamy and it's really nice. Wow. They're all enjoying the avocado okay. ice cream. How was it, bro? Nice, tasty. Eighty percent sugar. Mm. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. How is it, mom? Oh, so nice. Tastes good. Mm. Is it really good? How are you gonna rate it? Mm. From one to ten, how are you gonna rate it? Nine. Whoa, where did the one percent go? Yeah, yummy. <laughs> Guys, even the avocado ice cream, it tastes so, so good. Ah! There's some great hamster. Mm. It's melting. Guys, we're almost there. I can already.
We are now in Gulabu Beach. It is also called as the back ditch and most of the water sports and activities are held in here. So we are going to the Niwin. We can also swim in there because the water is crystal clear. Of course. <laughs> My sister wants a braid. So they do it, guys. Oh, it's gonna be mom. It's gonna be mom. It's gonna be So we are still walking from station 2 to station 1 and now we're going to the new way. So we are almost there. Actually, just coerced my family to go in there since they didn't want to be under the sun that much. We're on the way to the beach road, right? Guys, of course, we're going to the sport car. It's not going to the shortcut anymore. Instead, we're walking on the right path. Vlog is gonna be views on the adventure. It's a little bit far. Since the day is holiday, everything is cool, like around. Right, guys? So we're off for dinner again. Walking for some time, we found this Asian fusion restaurant. The, the food is not that bad, but my sister is kind of disappointed because they don't even have a service water. We're killing at one of the most famous dessert shops here in Barakai, which is the Coco Mama. 
So this is how they put it together. I do like the quality of their ice cream since it's not too sweet and it's just right in the palette. So they have pandan and coconut flavor for the ice cream. And the cakes of mango on the top and pinky pink. day tree in the island and I'm with my brother and we went out first and he saw that there are people was checking out the blood pressure and he just want to try it <laughs> let's see relax you hey, relaxing one more time decided to rent a glass boat for an hour for 600 pesos. Hey guys, it's our day three and we're gonna eat lunch for some So we're trying this newly opened dessert shop here, also owned by the Coco Mama. I'm so excited guys, they said it's so delicious. The Coco Mama one is not too sweet and it tastes really good and the maker also made this. We are now going to Puka Beach. Mom, how was it? How was it? It's so difficult to get for transportation going going to Puka. So guys, we're riding on an e-bike going to Puka Beach. Okay, so guys, if you want to know the So guys, we're here. Puka Beach is famous because of it's Puka shell and also it's, it has very white sand. It is not as crowded as in the front beach or in the Nubid. There is also no buildings or hotels in the beachfront so, and they try to conserve the nature. So it's 5 in the afternoon, we have just arrived back at the station too.
our last night here. So today is our last day. So I decided to wake up very early in the morning and it's so peaceful and calm. So I'm walking from station 2 up to station 1. And the crowd is like much lesser than it was 2 or 3 days ago since most of them already went back home since the holiday is over. So right now I'm going to find a glass boat and I'm going to rent it because I don't really have beautiful photos or any videos in there. finally found someone who has a glass boat and he offered me like um, he's gonna take photos and videos of me and then I'm just gonna play 100 for an hour which is really good because yesterday we paid like 600 Today is our last day. We're gonna have brunch and then we're going home now. Bye, Boracay. I'm gonna miss you. We're going home, guys. Guys, we're going home. Thank you so much for watching so if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and also the notification up there and also the subscribe button thank you so much see you in the round